Why am I out of breath? Every time I turn around on the camera, I get out of breath. I literally was not breathing hard two seconds ago. What the frig is my problem? Okay. What's up, guys? Good morning or afternoon or night. I forgot I'd do a get ready with me. Just really chill, laid back. Um, I really enjoyed the last one. Just getting to sit down with you and talk to you guys. And last night I was doing my hair forever and I was like, you know what, let's just let's just do the rest on camera. A lot of you guys wanna see me do my twist out again anyway. So I'm just gonna get started. I'll just let you know that my hair is in a stretched curl former set. I did them last night and then I just stretched them in two buns. And I got this, I love this. I did this look in another video as well. And I'll link that too. I'll link everything. Just look in the description box. Everything's down there for you. I always like to start in stretched hair because I get more length this way. And I also get better definition because the twist out pattern doesn't have to compete with my natural curl pattern, which is really, really tight and curly. So if I stretch it out, then all you see is that like wavy twist out. And I usually twist in three large sections. So I'm going to grab my first section and I'm going to twist with a little bit of rose water in my homemade mango butter cream which you can find a link for in the description box let's do it i'm actually going to spray rose water in my hand because i don't want it to revert too much just a little bit of moisture i want to thank you guys for the overwhelmingly nice comments that i received on my um sponsorship video the last one that i made where i was giving you guys the option to let me know what you wanted me to do as far as hair product sponsors on this channel I honestly was not expecting that at all like I was I was shocked <laughs> the thing that I guess I always forget is that people who just aren't happy with what you're doing will usually speak up more than people who are happy with what you're doing so I think that I was just looking at all of the comments as far as sponsorship videos and just thinking that because there were so many that everybody must feel this way or at least like you know half of the majority would feel that way. I wasn't expecting that it was only going to be 3%. That was shocking. That to me was really shocking. I wasn't expecting that. So um, I wanted to thank you guys for just being so supportive and understanding and kind and yeah that was... That was, that was a very pleasant surprise. With that being said though, I think that for my own sanity and for my own self-care, I'm going to avoid doing sponsorships for hair products on my YouTube channel. Just because, you know, I, I never wanted to start doing it in the first place. That wasn't my goal and I, I would feel a lot happier in my soul if I wasn't doing them. Just because I feel like this is my home and I, I don't know. I'd like my hair content to be pure. So I've decided that at least for now, I'm going to avoid doing hair product sponsorships. That doesn't mean I'm not going to do other sponsorships not related to like hair products or anything like that. Because you know, we got bills to pay. But as far as hair product sponsorships go, I think I'm going to chill on that for a little bit. But it's nice to know that if I ever do decide to go back to that, that you guys will have my back and be okay with it. So that really meant a lot to me. So I just wanna, again, thank you so much because that that meant a lot to me, honestly. I know I didn't talk about what I just did. I just did like a flat twist down. This is not a tutorial. So if you want, um, you know, full details on this, I'm gonna link the video in the description bar. This is just, I just wanna talk to you guys. Actually, this would be a good video to just do your own hair with. So if you are doing your own hair, let me know in the comments what you're doing to your hair. I'm curious. I know that sometimes when I'm doing my hair, I just like to like pull up YouTube videos and kind of just chill. So if that's what you're doing right now, let me know. What 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 hairstyle are you doing with me? <laughs> We're doing our hair together. So let me know what you're doing to your hair. I'm curious. Um, anyway, there was one comment that I definitely wanted to talk about because I was considering making like another video about this. Because I never addressed this and I feel like it's important to. I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was something like, um, you know, sponsored videos are fine as long as you keep it authentic. And she was saying that she felt like me doing the Pantene and the um, Neutrogena and CoverGirl sponsorships. I did Neutrogena and CoverGirl sponsorships on my Instagram. She was saying that she felt like me doing that wasn't authentic because I'm all about natural hair care and DIY and they're full of synthetics and yada yada yada, which I completely understand. But I mean, if you followed me from the beginning, you know that I used to only use um, Bare Minerals for my makeup. And then sometime around 2013, 2014, when makeup looks were getting more creative and people were just having more fun with it, 
I really want to get in on that and I really want to just play, you know, I'm a creative person. I just enjoy playing with art. So I really want to play with more looks and try the makeup that everybody else was using. And at the time, I know that now it's not that way, but at the time, these natural brands were not doing it, okay? They weren't keeping up in that time. So I looked to other brands. I was going to BeautyCon and I was getting free makeup from Smashbox and I was playing with that and I started using NYX and all that and I just really started playing with different makeup and not really caring so much. So I think a lot of people feel that way who didn't really see that transition. But I've been very vocal about wanting to try new makeup and I've done tutorials with um, like makeup with synthetic chemicals in it and I don't really worry about that too much. Now I was going to make another video about this but maybe I'll just like um, talk about it real briefly here. I love DIY, I love natural hair care, but I've really learned throughout the years that it's okay to not be 100% natural. I, I love 100% natural, don't get me wrong, but there are safe synthetics that I've learned over the year. I've learned about a ton of safe synthetics over the year, which is why you see me using um, the main choice three in one leave-in, which is why you see me trying other brands and there are some styles out there that if you want to achieve, you kind of have to use synthetic chemicals. So for example, if you're doing a style that needs like a heat protectant or something like that, it's kind of necessary. Like a hairspray, I've used hairspray, I've used heat protectants. I, I mentioned in probably 2013 or 14 that I also wanted to use more store-bought store products because I wanted to see what was out there and test and learn more about products. And that was my goal. And that includes synthetic products. Obviously, my first choice is always going to be natural. But I really do believe now in everything in moderation that that's fine. That's just me personally, just because, I don't know, I just got kind of sick of stressing out over every little thing. As far as, like, parabens and that kind of thing go, I'd rather not use them. But I don't think that using them once or twice is going to hurt me. Obviously, with anything that I'm buying for myself, if there's a natural equivalent to it, that's usually what I'm going to get, um, as, as long as it's not like outrageously expensive. I think that a lot of people think that I'm super earthy crunchy, which, you know, I probably am, but it's within con convenience. Like if, if it's not convenient to be earthy and crunchy, then I'm probably not going to be just because I just don't have the time anymore. And a lot of this change happened when I had Olivia. Um, I just didn't have the time to be nitpicking every single thing that I did. I love natural ingredients, but if I can't get something that's natural, I don't stress about using something that's synthetic. As long as it's not, you know, over a super long period of time, basically. So this twist is becoming a pain in my butt. A little trick that I'll tell you about my twist outs is that if you're twisting your hair, and you know how sometimes you twist it and it's like kind of frizzy still? I undo my twist and I will twist down again because the more you undo your twist and retwist, the smoother your hair is going to be. That's what gets me my really smooth twist outs. So that's just a... Ah! Scratch the heck up out of my finger. That's just a t uh, tip for you guys. If you're looking to get y'all twist outs extra smooth. And you guys notice that I'm wrapping my hair into Bantu knot. They're not going to stay like that. I just do that so that the hair will stay nice and tight. Because if I let it go, it's going to puff out, and I don't want it to puff out. I want it to stay tight. So I just twist it into a banshee knot, so that will stay how I want it. Like that. Oh, that was tight. Oof. Oh, I hate tight hair. Okay. So vlogs <laughs> on my Dear Natural 85 channel. I know a lot of you guys are like, what the heck is going on with that? So... Let me tell you what's been going on in my life. I had a newborn baby, which a lot of you guys know already. He's Theodorable. <laughs> I love that. Somebody wrote that in the comments of the um, baby video and I just, that stuck. I love it so much. It's so cute. But um, it was kind of like really crazy timing because at the same time, you know, my husband just graduated from nursing school. So he just got a new job. He's working full time now. And I had a baby. And Olivia's going to school. <laughs> and so we had all these different changes, all like literally all at once. Um, so number one, that was kind of hard to get used to. And then number two, I had to get used to, and I'm still trying to get used to, working and doing these videos for you guys and everything else that I do while also watching a newborn. So that is hard. <laughs> and that is the main reason why there have been no vlogs, just because I can't 
find time to pick up a camera and vlog. And when we do vlog, which we have, we actually do have a little bit of footage. I haven't had time to edit it because all my time is spent editing my hair videos and, you know, doing all the other stuff I have to do. That's kind of like the last thing that I have to do on my plate and then I'm exhausted by the end of the week. But that doesn't mean that vlogs are done. I love vlogging. I love having you guys like be a part of my everyday life. And so that is definitely coming back. I'm just figuring out right now how to do that. And I think I figured out a way, but just give me a little bit to, <laughs> give me a little bit, okay? <laughs> I know it's been two months since he's born and it really sucks because like, not only does it suck because you guys can't see him, but it sucks for me because I'm not gonna have these videos to see him growing up. Like Felipe and I love looking back on Olivia's videos and just seeing how cute she was as like a little shrivelly newborn and like seeing her progress into like a toddler and all that kind of stuff. And all I have is that one video of his birth where he was a newborn. So trust me, I'm not happy about this either, okay? I need to have videos of Theo too so I can look back on him when he's a smart mouth five-year-old talking back to me so I can remember how innocent and cute he was. So all in all, the vlogs are coming back most definitely. Just know that I'm trying to get them out there as soon as possible because I'm trying to document my baby ASAP. So yeah, just look out for them, hopefully soon. My hair is so uneven. Like look how long this one is. It goes from thick to thin because I have so many different layers. I miss when my hair was all one layer. That was nice. <laughs> Don't know what you got till it's gone. Let's talk about my wig reveal. <laughs> that video was just supposed to be for fun. And honestly, I didn't expect it to go down like that. I thought they were going to be perfect and everything was going to be great. I didn't braid my hair down. I, I had a feeling the wigs weren't going to fit in my head. That's why in the beginning I was like, this is probably not the best hairstyle. And then when I realized that it wasn't the best hairstyle, I was like, yeah, no, this is not the best hairstyle. So the video wasn't a commentary really on the size of the wigs. It was just a first impression. It wasn't like an official thorough reviewer at least it wasn't supposed to be it was supposed to be very chill and just very first impression and because I know that my hair wasn't braided the correct way to fit the wig on my head that's why in my final thoughts about the product I didn't talk about the size at all like I wasn't trying to be unfair to finger comb or anything like that I admitted that my hair wasn't braided the right way so that's why I only talked about the quality of the hair and the construction of the wig I wasn't trying to be like shady or anything like that anyway yeah, I wasn't really a fan of uh, those wigs. I actually want to show you what the kinky curl out wig looks like now. It's only been like two or three weeks. I wore it twice. The first time I wore it was really cute. It was a hot day. Um, so I don't know if that affected the wig, but it's synthetic, so I don't know why it would. I don't know, I don't know much about a synthetic wig, so maybe it does affect it, I don't freaking know. Um, but it was a hot day, so I don't know if that affected the wig. But the second time I wore it, I was slightly embarrassed <laughs> when I got home because I was like, did I wear this all day? So I'll show you the wig in a second. Let me just twist this hair. I feel like I'm like doing my hair at friends. This is so relaxing. And I feel like it's like flew by. This is crazy. All right, so here is the wig now. After it's been worn like twice, it's kind of like I feel like it's ratty looking, like it's all like frizzy and tangled. I mean, I don't mind how big it is. I don't mind the volume part, but it's just like these little pieces are just kind of like going in every different direction. And then these little balls kind of look out of place now. I'm not really feeling this wig. I don't know. But anyway, if I do do, <laughs> if I do do do, <laughs> if I do do another, <laughs> Okay, this is what happens when you have a five-year-old, okay? <laughs> Anything relating to poop and doo-doo is hilarious. Anyway, if I do another wig video, I have learned a lot, and I will apply all that I've learned into the next one. I don't know if I'm going to do another one, but I mean, it was it was just for fun, and I honestly, I did enjoy wearing it. Just being able to keep my hair in twists and then wear the wig out was just really nice, although... It was windy and I was scared. <laughs> Every time the wind blew, I was like, <laughs> like clutching my wig. Scared as heck that it was gonna just like reveal everything underneath. <laughs> Ooh, I was not used to that. That was a weird feeling. 
still doing yard work outside. It is hella loud. Uh, seriously? It's like they see me turn on the camera and they come rushing over with the weed whacker. As far as postpartum shedding goes, I have started experiencing it. I have been shedding a ton of hair, which is always fun to deal with in the shower. Um, but luckily I have a plan of attack for that. Operation and postpartum shedding is in effect starting next week because I've just been losing a ton of hair like here especially like in the front whenever I have postpartum shedding whenever like I have tons of kids the last time I had postpartum shedding it was like mostly in the front and the sides and I have a feeling it's going to do the same thing um this time but I do have a plan of attack which I will talk about in another video not to die bell not to die I'm going a little bit crazy because I'm going on like four hours of sleep. I'm so tired today. <laughs> but it's okay. We're not complaining. We're not complaining. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're clearly good. All right. Last twist. You know, I'm not even going to put this one into a bench net because I like to take them and stretch them so what's what we're gonna do we're gonna stretch and i'm gonna wear this out so i kind of want to stretch it in a way that's cute <laughs> so let me not do what i was about to do let me just take it and i just pin it on the back i don't know why i'm acting like i've never shown this to you guys before okay let's just freaking do it Jeez, louise <laughs> This is how I'm wearing my hair today and I'll take it out tomorrow. Now I could walk outside with my hair like this, but I don't want it to frizz up. So I'm just gonna put on the scent line hat. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the twist out in the front just to be cute. You know, you know, girl. Well, I mean, I try to be cute. <laughs> I don't know if it is cute, but we're gonna try. And that's it. All right, guys, so I'll be back tomorrow to take this out. And of course, show you the results since, you know, you did hang with me to twist it up. You should see what it looks like. So that's it for the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video and had fun getting ready with me today. If you want to know all the details on how I did this twist up because I know I didn't talk in detail about it, I'm going to put the link to the actual tutorial in the description box. Not a lot has changed since then except for maybe I think in that video I was probably using shea butter and now I use my mango buttercream. Um, that's probably the only difference. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Feels like who are you talking to? My mama's crazy. She's crazy, y'all. She's crazy. <laughs>